Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Yo, veo bastante conectado y solo dos me dijeron good evening. <laughs> All right, good everybody. Evening. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. English class. It's a pleasure to see you. It's a pleasure to know you guys, right? Es un placer verles y también es un placer pues conocerlos, right? Voy a compartir con ustedes la presentación para la clase de este día. All right? There you have it. Today we're going to start working with section one. Ahora vamos a iniciar trabajando con la sección uno. My sister works downtown. Imagino que tal vez algunos de ustedes ya tuvieron la oportunidad de andar ahí por la plataforma, right? Andar por la plataforma y ver pues qué hay que completar. So, vamos a trabajar mucho con el contenido de la plataforma. Es lo que vamos a desarrollar aquí para que cuando ustedes tengan que trabajar en sus exercises, it's going to be way easier. Va a ser mucho más fácil. So, my name is Febe Arevalo, F-E-B-E, -E, Febe, F-E-B-E, Arevalo. In English, is Phoebe, so you can call me Phoebe if you want, or Miss Arevalo, right? We are in class number one, beginners two. So welcome. Let's check. Classroom language. Algo pequeño que quiero darles para que ustedes tengan en cuenta. Is the classroom language. Okay, I'm sorry about that. All right, so let's continue. Algo que quiero comentarles es que el classroom language es necesario para que ustedes empiecen a utilizar ya el idioma, right? No nos quedemos con full Spanish, porque si no, no vamos a avanzar. So, tenemos estas tres como items que podemos utilizar. So, the first one is, Miss Arevalo, I have a question. Miss Arevalo, tengo una duda o una pregunta. En este caso sería pregunta, right? Tengo una pregunta. Ya no me la van a decir en español, sino que van a decir, Miss Arevalo, I have a question. Ya la pregunta que ustedes quieran realizar, se la pueden realizar en español, right? Pero utilizamos ya el lenguaje inglés desde el principio. Number two, Miss, how do you say tijera in English? Miss, ¿cómo se dice tijera en inglés? Así ya no me dicen, mire mis, este, ¿y cómo se dice esto en inglés? All right, no, ya empiezan a utilizar ustedes esta estructura. How do you say tijera in English? Number three, miss, can you repeat that again? Si algo no quedó muy claro o desean que yo lo vuelva a repetir o a explicar, si nos da el tiempo, claro, pueden utilizar esta pregunta. Miss, can you repeat that again? All right, so. Los que quieran pueden copiar esto para que lo tomen en cuenta al momento de, de cuando me quieran hablar o dirigirse a mí. You can use it. Pueden utilizar. So let me check. Voy a utilizar algunos de ustedes para que me lo digan. Let's see. Marvin Soriano. Hello, Marvin. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Phoebe. How are you? I'm fine. Very good. Excellent. Very good to hear that. So, can you tell me, please, number one? Uh, uh, Miss, Miss, Arevalo, Miss Arevalo, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Miss Arevalo, I have a question. Así de simple, right? Excellent, Marvin. Thank you. Rene, Thank you, for you. You're welcome, sir. Hi, Rene. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Rene? Fine. Fine. Excellent. Very good. Un poco estresado del tráfico, digamos. <laughs> All right, Rene. <laughs> Tell me number two, please. Me lee la número dos. Mm. Regla número dos es que le vamos a decir a usted, teacher, please repeat. All right, 
That was number three. <laughs> Esa es la tres. Number two is this one, my friend. <laughs> All right, no se preocupe. No se preocupe. Dígamela. Miss, how do you say tijera in English? Um, miss, how do you say tijera in English? Exactly, very good. Y ahí yo le digo scissors, René. All right, scissors. There you have it, René. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. Let me check. Kimberly, number three, please. Miss, can you repeat that again? Exactly. Excellent. Thank you, Kimberly. All right, guys. You see? Simple as that. Así de simple. Tenemos tres options que son parte del lenguaje que vamos a utilizar en el salón de clases, porque este es su salón de clases. All right. So, tratemos de utilizarlas para evitar mucho quizás el uso del español. Now, un consejo que les puedo dar, si me lo permiten, es que tengan su cuaderno para sus anotaciones. Algunos lo hacen en documentos Word, otros preferimos a pie, ¿verdad? <risa> Haciendo nuestras anotaciones. Se los recomiendo mucho, en serio. Ustedes pueden, pueden revisar su material cuando ustedes deseen, si andan en su cuaderno, right? So, this is just one advice. Let's move on. Yo siempre les voy a ir dando tiempo para que ustedes copien lo que necesiten, si es necesario, right? Introducing yourself. So, esta es la primera vez que los voy a tener a ustedes como grupo, right? Entonces, let's get to know each other. Conozcámonos. Let's see. Hello, my name is Fede Arevalo o Fidi Arevalo. I am 24 years old. I work as an English teacher. I live in El Salvador. I'm Salvadorian. <laughs> All right. That's pretty much it. Vivo en El Salvador. Soy salvadoreña. I'm Salvadorian. So, ¿qué vamos a ver aquí? Si ustedes quieren, porque esto ustedes también lo van a utilizar para presentarse conmigo y sus compañeros, pueden, si ustedes desean, omiten esta parte del trabajo. Si no, la utilizan. Utilizamos I work as a cuando tenemos la profesión. Queremos decir de qué trabajamos. Pero si yo no quiero decir en qué trabajo, sino a dónde trabajo, solo le vamos a cambiar el I work as y le ponemos el in. I work in inglés corporativo. Right? ¿Ven la diferencia? Hay unos para la profesión y los otros para el trabajo. Para decir el lugar. So, ustedes deciden. Y si no me quieren decir ninguno de los dos, no problem. Right? No hay problema. So, let's see. And let me check. Let's start with Gerardo Rodas. Hello, Gerardo. Good evening. Gerardo, are you there? Hello. Hello, good evening. All right, Gerardo. Please introduce yourself. Puede presentarse, por favor. Okay. Hello, my name is Gerardo Rojas. I, eh, no. I am. What do you say? Uh, 29. 29. 29. Mm -hmm. Okay. 29 year old. Uh, I live in El Salvador. Hmm. All right, excellent. Very good, very good. There you have it. You see, simple as that. Thank you, Gerardo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Let's go with Mayra Romero, please. And I have a volunteer. Hello, my name is Mayra Esperanza Romero de Agreda. I am 43 years old. I work. Um, I work in English Corporation. I live in El Salvador. I am Salvadorian. Excellent. Very good. There you have it. Thank you, Mayra. Let's go with this volunteer. Mayrene, ¿así se pronuncia su nombre? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, yes. Good evening. Excellent. This is my name. <laughs> Hi, good evening, class. Good evening, teacher. My name is Mayrene. I'm from El Salvador. I live in, in Versailles City. 
um, I am teacher the Bible. Um, I like you better the cat. Uh, um, <laughs> excellent, very good, Lenin. Thank you. Let me check. Thank you. Ay, Vilma, permítanme, denme un segundo, solo le contesto a su compañera esto. Oh. Yeah, that's true, <laughs> pretty much. Thank you, Gerardo, all right? Now, let's move on, everybody. Déjenme ver. Néstor Amilcar, please, your turn. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, my name is Néstor Amilcar Rivera Muñoz. I am 40. 45 years old. I work in 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 Cerro de Espina or Mission Espina's Mystery. I live in El Salvador. I am Salvadorian. Very good, excellent. Very good. Thank you, Nestor. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. No, nice to meet you. <laughs> All right. And nice to meet you, my name too, because I didn't tell you that, right? No le dije. un placer. So let's see. Let's go with Karen Castillo. Aha, uh -huh, Karen. Hello, my name is Karen Castillo. I am 25 years old. I work in Hosti, Latina. I live in El Salvador. I am Salvadorian. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Karen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Let's go with Flor de Maria. Wow, pretty name. Hello, my name is Flor. I am 40 years old. Born in Ministerio de Hacienda. I am live in El Salvador. I am Salvador. Very good, excellent. Thank you, Flor. Marvin Soriano, please. Hello, my name is Marvin Soriano. I am uh, 37 years old. I work in the Ministry of Hacienda. I live in Salvador. I am Salvadorian. All right, very good, excellent. Nice to meet you. All right, everyone. Tengo bastante que trabaja en el mismo lugar. De seguro ya se conocen todos. All right, let's move on to somebody else. Kimberly, Elena, please. Hello, me and classmate. Uh, my name is Kimberly Elena Suarez Corleto. I'm 22 years old. Um, I, I am a psychology student. I live in Aguachapa. Uh, I'm Salvadorian. Very good. Excellent, Kimberly. Nice to meet you. Let me check Alexis Perez, please. Your microphone. So, microphone, Alexis. No, lo tiene apagado. All right. Me, apar me aparece a mí que lo tiene apagado. No jet. Well, maybe with the time, my friend. A veces es por el internet, all right? Que no nos enciende el microphone or something else. Creo que me está dando problemas en el micrófono. Sí, también es probable, all right? Don't worry, no se preocupe. Let's see, en otra okay. clase se va a presentar. <laughs> Let me check. René Portillo, please, your turn. Hello, I am René Antonio Portillo Maya. I work in, in Ministerio de Hacienda. Mm -hmm. I am 41 years old um, only. Well, that's all right, excellent. Very good, sir. Don't worry, all right? I just want oh. to get to know you guys. Vamos a estar 16 horas, o sea, 16 clases juntos, all right? Y no quiero que se estén estresando de que, ay, la mis, all right? Por eso quiero que nos conozcamos y que tengan confianza de decirme lo que ustedes necesiten durante el curso, all right? Estoy para ayudarles. That's my job. So, let's see. Uh, because of the time, tal vez no voy a alcanzar a preguntarles a todos, solo a una persona más. 
Uh, Catherine Pamela, please. Hello, my name is Pamela. I am 24 years old. I work in Luke Shoppers. I live in El Salvador and I'm Salvador. That's correct, excellent. All right, everybody, very good job. Thank you so much. All right, everyone, nice to meet you, Catherine. Now, listen up, guys. Para algunas clases vamos a estar haciendo uso de los videos directamente, los vamos a ver aquí de la clase. Y otras veces nos vamos a acoplar solamente a la presentación PowerPoint que tenemos aquí, porque es el mismo material del video, ¿ok? Entonces, ustedes no se preocupen, lo que ustedes vean aquí en la presentation es lo mismo que ustedes tienen en los videos. Solo que yo lo voy a ir explicando más despacio y dándoles tiempo que practiquen. Tenemos muchas conversations durante la jornada de este módulo, ¿ok? Right? Durante el tiempo de este módulo tenemos muchas conversations y las vamos a utilizar porque yo sé que tal vez solos no practicamos, pero aquí sí lo vamos a hacer. All right. So let's get started. Transportation in the U.S. The top eight ways to get to work. Number one, drive. Number two, walk. La primera vez solo escuchen. All right. Number one, drive. Number two, walk. Number three, take the bus. Number four, take the subway. Number five, take the train. Number six, ride a bike. Ride a bike. Number seven, ride a motorcycle. Ride a motorcycle. Number eight, take a taxi or a cab. It's no mismo, right? Take a taxi or a cab. Now, let me start with, yo los voy a ir escogiendo para que puedan practicar. Y si ustedes quieren ser voluntarios, you're welcome, right? Así que solo me avisan, Miss, yo quiero participar o levantan su virtual hand y yo les voy a dar la palabra. Let's start with Lourdes Nerio. Please, Lourdes, tell me the vocabulary. Me dice el vocabulario, por favor. Hija, cansa me lo pega, por favor. Okay. Uh -huh. Drive, walk, take the bus, take the train, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, take a taxi, take a cab. Excellent, very good. Repeat after me, my friend. Ride a bike. Ride a bike. Excellent, very good. There you have it. Thank you. Now let's go with Nestor. Solo me permiten hacer un, una consulta que les quiero decir. No es consulta, es en realidad algo que les quiero decir. Si ustedes necesitan ayuda con el vocabulary, háganme saber, all right? A veces yo no los interrumpo porque pues no es así, sino que ustedes me dicen, me dice esta cómo se pronuncia, vale. All right? Y yo los ayudo. Action, Nestor. Thank you. Yeah. Drive, walk, take the bus, take the subway, take the train, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, take a taxi cab. That's correct, sir. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Let me go with Alexis Hurtado, please. Tell me the vocabulary. Hi. Uh, <laughs> drive, walk, take the bus, take the subway, take the train, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, take a taxi, call. That's correct, excellent, thank you, sir. Let's go with Vanessa Perdomo. Um, hi, um, drive, walk, take the bus, uh, take the subway, Take the train, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, take a taxi, take a cab. That's correct, excellent, very good. Let's check, let me see. Juan Jose Pineda, please. Hello. Hello, uh, number one. 
number one, drive, number two, work, number three, take a bus, number four, take a subway, number five, take a train, number six, ride a bike, number seven, ride a mot motorcycle, uh, number eight, take a tax, taxi, or take a car. Excellent. Thank you, Juan. Very good job. Let's go with Jasmine, please. Eh, la primera es, es drive, la segunda es walk, la tercera es take a pass, la cuarta es take a subway, eh, la cinco es take the drive, la seis es ride a bike, la siete es ride a motocicle, la ocho es take a taxi, take a bus. All right, excellent. Thank you, Jasmine. Very good. Now, everyone, before passing to some other students, let me just help you with this one. Ride a motorcycle, right? Esa es quizás la más difícil que tenemos por aquí y por eso estoy haciendo énfasis en esta. Porque a todos nos cuesta, right? A todos nos cuesta en algún momento. So, ride a motorcycle. Motorcycle. Right? Hay que darles intonation. Let's check, let me see. Karen Castillo, please. And after Karen, Kimberly, and after Kimberly, Mark. Action. Hello. Drive, walk, take the bus, take the subway, take the train, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, take a taxi, take a cab. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, Karen. Drive, walk, take the bus, take the subway, take the train, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, take a taxi, take a cab. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, Kimberly. Action, Marvin. Uh, number one, drive. Number two, walk. Number three, take the, take the bus. Number four, take the subway. Number five, take the train. Number six, ride a bike. Number seven, ride a motorcycle. Number eight, take a taxi or take a cab. That's correct, sir. Excellent. Thank you, everybody. Now, let's check this one. Walk. No sé si ustedes tal vez en el nivel uno lograron visualizar un verbo que es el de hablar. Right? Cuando decimos talk, no pronunciamos la L, sino que decimos talk. Es, una, es como algo ya estable que ellos tienen en el idioma. Right? No mencionan la L para ciertas palabras. En este caso es lo mismo con la number two, walk. No vamos a ahondar mucho en eso de la regla gramatical para eso, porque it's not needed. Solo quiero decirles que en este caso es walk. Walk. Right? De hecho, it's way easier. Está más fácil, right? Porque muchas veces nos complicamos tratando de decir la L y nos suena, me suena a mí eso, right? Por eso, porque no se dice walk. Lo mismo walk. que talk. Ajá, exactly, walk. Lo mismo que talk y déjenme ver. Yeah, pretty much those, right? Talk, walk. So there you have it, very good. Let's move on to, to more information. How do you get to work now? ¿Cómo llegamos al trabajo? All right, how do we get to work? We have three options. I drive to work, please. I take the bus. I ride my bike to work. Now, the last one, la última, quizá no todos eh, la hacemos, right? Es también difícil llegar hasta la oficina o el lugar de trabajo en bicicleta, con, aún con ese tráfico. So it's, diff it's really difficult. Pero la mayoría sé que utilizamos la number one y number two. So, yo les voy a ir preguntando. Después voy a escoger algunos de estos students, o sea, de ustedes, para que pregunten y respondan. So, here we go. Let me start with Mayra Romero. Ajá, Mayra, how do you get to work? Usted puede escoger una de estas. I take the bus. All right, excellent, very good. Mayrene, how do you get to work? 
Your microphone, my friend. El micrófono, my friend. Sorry, teacher. Sorry. I read really in my motorcycle, teacher. Excellent. That's so cool. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> All right. Cool and risk. Genial, pero arriesgado. <laughs> All right, let's check Flor de Maria. So, Flor, how do you get to work? I take the bus. All right, very good. Alexis Hurtado, how do you get to work, Alexis? I try to work sometime, I take the bus. All right, excellent, very good. Now, the gasoline is expensive, so we sometimes must take exactly. the bus, right? <laughs> yeah, it's true. A veces toca el busito. Let's see. Let me go with, let me check. Ahora sí, los voy a ir escogiendo para que uno pregunte y otro responda. Juan José Pineda, escoja quién quiere que le responda la pregunta. Y obviamente usted va a preguntar, right? Al uh, amigo Marvin Soriano. ¿Qué tal, Marvin? Hi, Juan José. Hey, how do you get to work? Um, I drive, I drive to work and mm. sometimes I take the bus. Yes, thank you. Excellent. Very good job, guys. Let me see. Yesenia Vasquez. You ask Yesenia. Usted pregunta y escoja su víctima. Choose your victim. Yesenia, are you there? All right. Maybe she has problems with her microphone. Kimberly, choose your victim, please. Karen Portillo. Okay. Action, you ask. Usted pregunta, Kimberly. How do you get to work, Karen? Let me check if she's in. Karen Portillo. Karen. Manifieste, say Karen. <laughs> Let's see, are you there? No, maybe she's not, maybe her microphone is not working, Kimberly. Choose somebody else. Let's go ahead and get us, right? Mm, Vanessa, perdón. How do you get to work? I drive to work. All right, excellent. Very really good. Simple as that. And the last person that I'm going to need in this part, Rene Porti. Select your people, your person. Escoja a la persona. Que le va a responder la pregunta. René, do you hear me? Hello. Hello, René. Ok, René. Choose the person who's going to ask who's going to answer your question. Escoja la persona que le va a contestar la pregunta, René, please. Kimberly. Okay, very good. Kimberly, how do you get to work? I take the bus. All right, excellent. Very good, everybody. There you have it, simple as that. Super simple, right? Solo preguntamos, contestamos. Hasta ahorita, así vamos a guiarnos. Let's move on. Nice car conversation. All right, ¿qué vamos a hacer con eso? Miss Arevalo, which is me, right? Yo voy a hacer la conversación sola ahorita. Escuchen cuidadosamente la pronunciation. Después, dos personas, primero uno y luego otro, va a trabajar conmigo y después, you go alone. Ustedes trabajan solos. So here we go. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. 
She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. Give me one second. They use public transportation, the bus or the train. The train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad, all right? Ay, no es para tanto, no es tan difícil tomar el bus. <laughs> all right, so let's check. Let me see. Um, I'm going to check. Tengo algún voluntario que quiera practicar la conversation conmigo? Raise your hand. Okay, Mayra Romero, please open your microphone. Mayra, ¿quieres ser Ashley o quieres ser Jason? Usted escoja. Mm, Jason. Excellent, okay. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister. She is a new hub and the driver to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus. It's really slow. That's the, that's the bus. Excellent. Thank you, Mayra. Very good. Excellent. Do I have another participant, another volunteer? Tengo otro voluntario? Nadie quiere practicar conmigo. Jesus. Qué barbaridad. Yo voy a escoger. Let me check. Now I have three hands. Excellent, my name. Do you want to be Ashley or Jason? Jason. Okay. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister. She has the new house and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the, or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus, it's really slow. That's too bad. Excellent, my friend, very good job. Mm -hmm. All right, Ahora, no more volunteers. Ahora les toca a ustedes solos. Let me see, uh, Cecilia Romero, you are going to work with Kimberly Elena, okay? Cecilia, you are Ashley, Kimberly, okay. you are Jason, action. Okay. Este. Nice car, Jason. It is yours. No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she's rice to work. Is her home her in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive the work. They use it public transportation. The bus or the train? The train does not stop near our house. So they take the bus. It is really slow. That's too bad. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Very good job. Good intonation, good fluency. We're doing good. Let's go with another pair. Ah, I have more hands. Marvin, you go with Karen Castillo. Okay, okay, Marvin. You are Jason, Karen. You are Ashley. Ashley. Okay, okay. <laughs> nice car, Jason. It is yours? Uh, no, it is my sister. She has a new job and she tried to work. Is your job here in the suburb? No. It's downtown. My parents were downtown, but 
they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train does not stop near her house. Do they take the bus? Isn't that really slow? <laughs> That's too bad. Excellent, bravo, very good job too. Karen and Marvin, great. Now, let me check another pair. Aquí todos van a participar, all right? Nadie te escapa. A no ser que por mi memoria se me vaya alguien, all right? Pero no creo. Alexis Hurtado, you are Jason. Mm, let me check. Ya le busco una Ashley. Let's see. Flor de María, please. You are Ashley. Action. Okay. Night car Johnson is it your no it's my sister she has new job and she drive to work is her her in the silver no it's downtown my parent board doctor but they do not drive to work, they use public transportation. The bus or the train? The, the train, bus or the train? The train does not stop near our house, so they, they take the bus. It is real slow. That's too bad. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Very good. Now, listen, maybe right now you feel like hey, it's algo eh, complicada la conversation, right? Pero no se preocupen. It's like the first class, right? La primera clase, so take it easy. Si prestan mucha, ten, mucha atención a la pronunciation, porque eso les va a facilitar el proceso. Y recuerden, something, algo que les va a ayudar mucho, que lastimosamente quizás no todos Poseemos es el abrir bien nuestra boca, right? Al hablar este idioma, English language, you need to open your mouth. Necesitamos abrir bien la boca para que las palabras fluyan, right? Salgan de, en una mejor manera. So, there you have it. Let me check. Let me have René Portillo. You are Jason. <laughs> Let me see. Vanessa Perdomo. You are Ashley. Action. Nice scarf, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to. Uh, is her job here is in the suburbs? No, it's a downtown. My parents work downtown, but they not drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train does stop near our house. So they say the bus is really slow. Tags to bus. Excellent. Bravo, you guys. Very good. Now, let me go with the last pair. Vamos a llegar con una última pareja. Y let me see. Nestor Amica, you are Jason. And Catherine Pamela, you are Ashley. Action. Nice car, Jason. It is yours. No, it's my sister. She has a new job. Um, she drives her to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus, it's really slow. That's too bad. All right, excellent. Thank you guys, very good. Let me tell you, I'm impressed, all right? 
You're doing amazing with these conversations. You're killing it, right? So we're doing good. Now let's move on everybody. Simple present statements, my friends, all right? Algo que quiero que quede bien clarito. El simple present no es lo mismo que el verb to be, all right? Son temas bien aislados, they're not together, all right? Let's hope that's clear. Simple present statements, positive statements, negative statements. Positive, I walk to school, all right? Voy yo primero y después les pongo a ustedes. I don't live far from here, negative, positive. You ride your bike to school, negative. You don't live near here, positive. He works near here, negative. He doesn't work downtown, positive. She takes the bus to work, negative. She doesn't drive to work, positive. We live with our parents. Negative, we don't live alone. Positive, they use public transportation. Negative, they don't need a car. Now with that being said, let's go on the practice. I'm going to check Gerardo Rodas, you are positive statements, Beatriz Campos, you are negative statements. Les explico cómo vamos a trabajar. Gerardo, usted va a decir el primer positive statement, la primera oración en positivo o afirmativo, y Beatriz le va a seguir con la negativa, all right? Con cada una de estas, let me see, we have six. Con cada una de estas seis oraciones vamos a trabajar igual, all right? Action. Okay. I walk to school. I don't live far, far from here. You ride your bike to school. You do not live near here. He warned near here. He does not work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She does not drive to work. We lie with our parents. We do not lie alone. They use public transportation. They not need all right, excellent. Thank you, guys. Now, let me just check the spotlight. Yes, I need this one. All right, everybody. This one, live, right? The pronunciation of this word, live, live, all right? So let's go on. Thank you, guys, for your participation. Let me go with Vanessa Perdomo. You are positive statements. Juan Jose Pineda, you are negative. Action. I walk to a school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They ask public transportation. They don't need a car. That's correct. Excellent, guys. Thank you. Now, let's go with Vilma Cartagena. You are positive statements. Alexis Hurtado, you are negative statements. Action. Ah, let me check, creo que era Vilma la que... Ah, yes, Vilma nos dijo que todavía no escuchaba, creo yo. All right. Or maybe yes, Vilma. Ahora sí nos escuchan. 
If not, let's go with Hasmin. Hasmin, you are positive statements, please. Thank you. I walk to school. I don't live far you from are, here. You ride, you ride to school. You don't live near here. He work near her. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't try to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Bravo, excellent. Thank you guys for your participation. Let's go with Aha Vilma. Tiene el micrófono abierto. Ay, no, se desconectó. Okay, let's go with Lourdes Nerio. Let's see, Lourdes. You are positive. Tú says positive statements. And let me check. Nestor Amilcar, you are negative. Action. Lourdes, are you there? I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here? He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with your parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. That's correct, everybody. Thank you. Now, listen up, all right? Contractions. We have do not. That's the long form. The contraction is don't. We have does not. The contraction is doesn't, all right? Now, let me tell you this and I will say it in Spanish. No esperen que absolutamente todo, como ustedes lo tienen en inglés, se pueda traducir al español, all right? Porque no todo tiene una traducción específica. La mayoría de veces se interpreta de tal manera. Otras veces, con el tiempo adecuado, se puede traducir correctamente. All right? Les digo esto porque a veces nos podemos desanimar. Y eso no tiene una traducción y cómo lo voy a entender. All right? It's different. Take it easy. Lleven eso en mente. No todo se puede traducir directamente o literalmente como quisiéramos. Otras veces sí podemos traducir literalmente. También van a encontrar palabras. E imagino que quizás si estuvieron en el módulo 1, estos ya se lo dijeron también. Van a encontrar palabras que no las van a encontrar en un solo contexto, sino que tienen diversos contextos, right? La pueden utilizar en diversos contextos. Por ejemplo, play. Todos sabemos que play es jugar, right? Pero también existe play en el contexto de actuación. Play a role. Hacer un rol, right? O actuar. Entonces, esa misma palabra tiene two different contexts. Therefore, it has two different meanings. Tiene dos contextos diferentes y por ello tiene dos diferentes eh, significados. Right? Quiero hacerles ver esas aclaraciones por cualquier cosa. There's another thing. Contractions. En este caso utilizamos el don't o el do not como la manera negativa. Si ustedes se fijan para el positive, tenemos los verbos en forma normal. Para utilizar el simple present, si sí es bien necesario que ustedes vayan adquiriendo más verbs. Lo van a hacer en la clase, pero también ustedes pueden buscar listas de verbos, right? Aparte. Tenemos el verb walk, right? Works, takes, live, 
and use, use, all right, use. Now, for negative, if you notice, yo no le hago nada a mi verbo, right? El negativo no lo cambio. Simplemente le agrego mi auxiliar, que sería el do not. O en tercera persona, el does not. Vamos a ir step by step. Paso a paso vamos a ir viendo esto para que no se nos complique. So let's move on. Simple present structure. We have subject plus verb plus complement. Esto sí les recomiendo que todos lo copien, all right? Para hacer sus ejercicios o para hacer ejemplos van a necesitar esta estructura. So we have um, some examples. I walk to school. I take the bus. Ya todos conocemos los subjects, que sería el I. ¿Qué otro subject pronoun tenemos? He. He. Uh -huh. Another she. one. You. They. They. Uh -huh. We. We. He. Very good. It. If you remember, uh -huh, exactly, excellent. If you remember, guys, el it se utiliza, se puede utilizar para objetos, animales, colores, all right? So, there you have it. Esos son los subject pronouns. Ya quizás ustedes se los pueden super bien. Entonces, mi estructura me pide, poneme un subject. I, you, she, he, we, they, it. Right? Cualquier subject que necesitemos. Please, add a verb. Por favor, poneme un verb, right? Walk, take. Talk, eat, drink, listen, all right, cualquier verb. And a company. Claro está, cada cosa tiene su, su regla establecida, right? Cada cosa tiene su nombre, por así decirlo. Pero por el momento lo vamos a llamar complement, all right? Poco a poco lo voy descubriendo ustedes que lleva cada cosa, ya no van a decir complement, ya me van a decir, ah, mis es possessive, ah, mis es this preposition. All right, so there you have it. Let me see. Voy a pedirle a alguien que me lea la estructura de nuevo. Please, Marvin, tell me the structure. Uh, the subject, I, the verb, walk, uh, complement to, to a school. That's correct, sir. For Excellent. number one. For number one. Uh -huh. For number two? For number two, the subject, I, a bear take compliment uh, the bus to work. That's correct. Excellent. Mayra, do you have a question or you want to participate? I have a question. Estructura está bien escrita en esa, en esa diapositiva. Yes. Le falta la R. No, the structure. Le falta la R, ¿verdad? Ah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> structure. You're right. Thank you, my friend. What would it be without you? ¿Qué sería de mí sin usted, Mayra? Thank you. <laughs> All right. There you have it. It was true. We were missing the R. All right. Very good, guys. Thank you. Let's move on. Si ya terminaron aquí de copiar la estructura, me muevo lo siguiente. Remember, please, keep in mind, third person singular. What are the third person singular? We have he, she, it. Esos son nuestra tercera persona singular. He, she, it. ¿Qué cambia aquí? Si ustedes se fijaron en los statements que vimos de simple present, cuando aparecía un he o el she o el it, le agregábamos S al verb. Eso es lo que nos pide la estructura. Ok, give me one second. En lo que ustedes copian esto, solo voy a poner a cargar mi computer. Ok, give me one second. All right, as I was telling you, you're going to change. It's not that you're going to change. No es que van a cambiar el verbo. Solo le van a agregar nice, right? Claro está, tiene sus reglas gramaticales. Algunos no solo le vamos a agregar la S, sino que vamos a cambiarles algunas letras para poner otras, right? Pero por el, por el momento lo conocemos como que solo se le agrega la S a alguno de estos verbos. 
All right? For example, guiding examples. Number one, Martha walks to work every day, right? Number two, Pablo rides, rides his bike every morning. Number three, the weather changes every three months, right? Now, I'm going to ask Juan Jose Pineda, please. Tell me the three guiding examples. Me lee los tres ejemplos, please. Sí, number one. Marta walks to work every day. Number two, Pablo writes, he's by every morning. Number three, the water changes every three months. Excellent, thank you, Juan. That's correct. Now let's go with Gerardo Rodas, please. Read again the three examples that we have. Lea de nuevo, por favor, los tres ejemplos. Okay, Miss. Marta worked the work uh, every day. Pablo Ryan, his back every morning. The weather changes every three months. That's correct. Excellent. Every three months, right? And here we're missing the S. Every three months. Now, let's check this other one, right? If you already finished with this, let me move on, right? Si ya finalizamos con esta, me muevo. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Thank you. All right. We have, look at. Auxiliary verbs do or does, right? Son nuestros auxiliares. Estos los utilizamos para hacer la manera negativa. Muy, muy raras veces ustedes van a escuchar que algo está siendo en afirmativo utilizando el do o el does, right? Raras veces. Usualmente lo utilizamos solo para contestar preguntas, para generar preguntas o para hacer la forma negativa, que sería el don't o el does. We use do for the pronouns. What pronouns, eh, Marvin? We, we use this for the pronouns I, you, we, and they. Excellent, thank you. Flor de Maria, we use does. We use does. For the pronunciation, he, she, and it. Very good, thank you. Nestor, when do we use do? Con que pronouns voy a utilizar do? We use those for the pronouns he, she, and it. Excellent, thank you. Karen, which pronouns can I use with does? He, she, and it. Very good. Cecilia Romero, what pronouns can I use with do? I, you, we, and they. Excellent. Kimberly, what pronouns can I use with does? He, she, and it. Very good, excellent. Van a ver que insisto en esto, porque aunque lo sabemos, lo recordamos, Cometemos el error, right? De mezclar los pronouns. René Portillo, what pronouns do I use with do? I, you, we, and they. Excellent. Cecilia Rodriguez, what pronouns do I use with does? He, she, and it. Very good job. All right, everybody. That's pretty much it. Nos vamos a detener aquí. Tenemos bastante contenido, mañana vamos a seguir. Tenemos un excelente contenido para el día de mañana, así que los espero en la clase. All right, we're going to finish in here. It has been a pleasure, ha sido un placer, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye Miss. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Si necesitan ayuda Bye. con los ejercicios, me escriben, all right? Bye. Ok. Bye. 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 Good night. Have a great night.
Qué rápido pasa la hora. 